What's going on everybody? It's the Bag of Tricks here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I would be making this at peak or I would be filming at peak today, but we're battling some super, super bad weather. So hopefully peak is okay and the parks stay open and everything, but just haven't had a chance to film there. Um, I would like to put brand new clips with the GoPro 6 in this video, but I'm going to have to use some older clips. But uh, before this video gets started, I just wanted to make a few announcements. Number one, I have stickers now. So there it is. Um, they are available on my website in the description. Uh, two for like five bucks, I think, free shipping. So if you want them, that is how you can get them. If you see me in person, I will be happy to give you these for free, a few of them. Rep the channel, sticker them everywhere, whatever you want to do. That'd be dope. Next up, I still have a lot of these hats in stock um, on the website as well. So there's the no pizza and then the real skiing. Um, honestly, guys, I just want to get rid of them. I just want them out of my apartment. So if you could pick some up, that would be sick. They're down below in the description. I put them on sale. I'm not making any profit from them and I don't care. I just want them out of my apartment. So please go pick some up. And finally, 10K subs is upon us and we will be giving away a pair of Glade goggles with the fire iridium lens. Just like these, but the strap is going to be white and the Glade logo will be black. So identical to these. I will be thinking of more stuff to give away, but Glade has been kind enough to hook up you guys, one of you guys, with a free pair of goggles. So be on the lookout for the 10K video coming soon. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright guys, so in today's video we're going to be talking about a few reasons why skiing is better than snowboarding. Um, in this video I have some filler clips from about two weeks ago. One of my subscribers did one of his first backflips in this video, so be on the lookout for that clip. That was dope. I was super stoked on that, and he was super stoked as well, obviously. But, full disclaimer before we get started here, I began my park career as a snowboarder. I started in park for the first time ever on a snowboard and I snowboarded in park for about five years before I skied maybe even longer than five years so this video is not to take a shot at snowboarding if I wasn't skiing right now in my life I would be snowboarding I absolutely love snowboarding I respect it I respect everybody that participates in it and this video isn't taking a shot at snowboarding and saying it's it's like the worst sport they're both amazing man they're both amazing for their own reasons and today I'm gonna to be covering the few benefits that skiing gives you over snowboarding um, but in in the future I want to make a video about what snowboarding has over skiing so it's gonna go both ways it's not taking a shot at snowboarding but anyways let's get into this so the first benefit skis give you over a snowboard is that skis give you four edges a snowboard gives you two so that's very obvious to most people but what most people don't realize is how much easier it makes landing tricks for a skier um, when you go to throw a spin on skis you have four edges to stop that momentum when you actually land the trick compared to snowboarding where you have to be very precise with your edge control to actually stop that momentum. I noticed as a snowboarder I struggled a lot when I would just go to throw a simple 360 that when I would land I would continue to spin and kind of wash out on the landings and the second I switched over to skiing and did my first 360 you know it kind of just came around and right when I landed facing forwards I just instantly stopped spinning and I was like wow I wish snowboarding was like that you know I wish I could just stop my momentum so easily on a snowboard but it's just not the case skiing gives you those four edges and those four edges really help you with landings next up spins and flips feel a bit more natural on skis just because you're traveling down the hill facing directly forward and not sideways and what I really mean by this is if you go to learn a backflip or a front flip on a trampoline, right? This is going to translate much easier to skis than it would on a snowboard. Because when you're on a trampoline, you're not going to be thinking about traveling down a hill sideways. You're going to be doing, all right, let's do a regular backflip. Let's learn how to backflip. But the second you want to take that over to a snowboard, it gets a little tricky because it's not the same setup. You know, you're going sideways. You can't really throw it straight back like you would on a trampoline. But on skis, you can throw it straight back or straight forward for a front and back flip. It's more natural. Trampoline tricks generally can translate easier over to a ski trick. It's not to say that you can't transfer tricks from a tramp to a snowboard. You definitely can. It's just a bit more natural to do that with skis. Number three, skiing has more rail tricks to offer. And that's because of your ability to pretzel and stop your momentum on rails um, compared to snowboarding. They both have sick rail tricks. Don't get me wrong. But skiing just opens the door of just a ton of possibilities with different switch up combinations, crazy 
spin on pretzel out combinations just there's an insane variety of tricks that you can do on skis on rails just because of your ability to pedal um, to do front swaps back swaps stop your momentum because you have the two skis to angle different ways with a snowboard doing pretzels and stuff like that is very difficult because you don't have the ability to you know dig an edge in and stop that momentum now I'm not saying skiing tricks look better than snowboarding tricks to each their own they're both sick but I'm saying there is a larger amount of tricks on rails that you can do as a skier but you have to get really really good at skiing to get to those tricks I mean for the most part for the average skier and snowboarder you're gonna have the same amount of tricks that you can do on rails but once you get to a high level skiing just offers so many different combinations it's pretty ridiculous and finally this isn't too crazy but for the average spectator of the sport a benefit that skiing gives them over snowboarding is that it is very easy to tell when a skier is going to switch so if you're watching a competition if you're watching x games the olympics whatever the case may be it's very 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 easy to tell when a skier is going to switch because they're riding down the hill completely backward when a snowboarder is going to switch it kind of looks the same as when they ride regular and unless you know that a snowboarder is regular footed or goofy footed, you won't know which way they're traveling down the half pipe, down the slope style course, down the trail at your local mountain, whatever the case may be. It's just a lot more difficult to tell when somebody is doing something switch. And I think this is for the average viewer or spectator of the sport. Again, um, I think they're going to be more impressed when a skier is doing a switch trick just because of the fact that they're going perfectly backwards down the hill than they would with a snowboarder doing a switch trick because it's, again, it's kind of tough to decipher if a snowboarder is going switch it's really hard to know especially if you don't know who the snowboarder is um, it's pretty much impossible to tell for the average viewer so in that regard skiing definitely has a bit of a edge over snowboarding when it comes to switch tricks how difficult they look and how easy it is to tell that a skier is riding switch so there it is guys four reasons that skiing is better than snowboarding I wouldn't say better, but four benefits that skiing gives over snowboarding or four things that skiing has that snowboarding doesn't have. Again, I want to make this video going the opposite way and talk about what snowboarding has that skiing doesn't have. So stay on the lookout for that. Stay on the lookout for everything I mentioned at the beginning of this video and just more content will be coming your way. Thanks for all the support, guys. That means a lot. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.